Gdames. This oasis town, actually it's touted as one of the most beautiful oasis towns in the Sahara. This is the first trip we've been on where it's like we go to these places and there's nobody there. This bag. I'll pay for this round of fuel. I've got the pocket lint it will cost you. Yeah. Hello. Ah. Bad one? Okay, soft one. I can play a freaking camel. Well done. <laughs> We're in the old city of Gadames, and this 1300 year old Berber town was once the jewel of the Sahara, one of the major trade routes coming through. Today it's abandoned, but what's left is almost a ghost town that you get to wander around this amazing labyrinth of streets and it's so well protected just due to the fact that so very few people have gone through it. To have a game of hide and go seek would be the perfect place. Right here. Not it. Not it. Trace it. How many steamboats? Fifteen! Fifteen wiki dragon boat steamboats! What do I have to do it? One Two, three, Ricky the Dragon. Six Ricky Dragon Boat Steamboats. Seven Ricky Dragon Boat Steamboats. All right, I'm coming. There's no way I'm going to find anyone in here. <laughs> Just goes on forever. I figure I'll go up to a rooftop and see if I can see them. Yeah, it's not going to work. I haven't seen the same thing twice, so I'm lost. I have no idea where I am. And I have no idea how I'm actually going to find those guys because this city just keeps going and going and going. Oh my god. This is probably kind of a stupid idea as no one has a map. I'm like honestly I'm I'm just trying to find my way out right now. Last thing I want to do is get stuck here when it's dark cuz I don't have a flashlight either. And the only areas you can see are the parts where the sunlight is kind of well, the skylight is coming in. There's not even any sun. And it's just alleyway after alleyway, and there's no one here. No one. There, that's a bit more sun. <sighs> it sounded like a really good idea, but I don't really think we thought it through. I don't, I'm not going to find the guys. I just have to try to get out of here and uh, get back to the hotel. Scott! There he is. I got you. I don't know where I'm going anymore, dude. 
<laughs> I don't Egg. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's official. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Now we're both lost. Yeah. Well. Well, actually, that might be the first edge of the city I've seen. I think we go back in. It's not easy running with a steady cam. <laughs> Seem like a pansy, but after a while it kind of gets creepy. Like there's no one around. The place we saw before was like an abandoned town. This is an abandoned like metropolis. Like this is huge. I think from up here we hold a massive advantage. Getting up to the rooftop, you'll see the view. Now you can see just how big this city is. <laughs> just rooftop to rooftop to rooftop. The cool thing is, actually it's not cool at all. I'm walking the, uh, the women's only pathway. During the daytime, the women would only use these pathways to connect from building to building. But as long as Justin doesn't get word of that. It's actually not as easy as it looks to get a good view. I mean, you can see all the rooftops, but you can't really see down in. Occasionally you catch one of those skylights, you know, that look down, that we were walking underneath. I kind of almost wanted to get caught and at least have the two of our heads working together to get our way out of it. And I think it was only a matter of time before we found Justin. Of course, finding him asleep on the rooftop made it that much easier to track him down, although he's pretty fast and I certainly didn't choose the right footwear. I had flip-flops in there. Trying to sprint around this old city was an absolute disaster. First, uh, I just wanted to like, run over there and be like, okay guys, let's get out of here. This is, let's end this game. And then I'm like, no, then I'll lose. Oh, Jeez. Oh, you got me. Took you long enough. You were sleeping up on that roof, weren't you? Yeah, I thought you were going to get me there. Yeah. I almost fell off because he's stupid flip flops. I'll race you out. I'll race you out. You go first. Go. You go. Alright. This way. That was. The longest game of yeah. tag in history. It took like an hour just to get out. We're crossing this morning from Gdames all the way down to the town of Seba, which is the capital of the desert section of Libya. I think it's safe to say we're officially in the Sahara Desert now. The greenery is all but gone. It's a cat style, you know, cats are always sleepy and uh, they spend so much time uh, taking naps during the day. Uh, during nights. There's a whole world out here. I know, I've seen it. Good morning, Justin. Good morning. Uh, yes, I will call my cat Justin. <laughs> there is small evidence of life. Like, out in the middle of the desert, you still find, like, little yellow flowers and stuff like that. Like, there, there is some life out here. <laughs> well, it's a good thing he just killed it. <laughs> Uh, no, there was evidence of life. There was evidence of life. Well, I'm going to do my part to help the desert out. And I'm going to water it a little bit before I get back in the bus. All right. We just pulled the white rhino off here and had a look. I guess there's a big rally race going on. With the help of our entourage, we've been able to organize a four-drive vehicle that's going to take us out to the race. It's about 22 kilometers just out into the desert, so the white rhino wouldn't have made it on its own. Just a little tip for you. If you're going out to the desert in a four-wheel-drive vehicle, it's important to have gas. And right now, this vehicle has no gas, and we're about to go out there. So 
Our driver is trying to find gas wherever he can. Well, he was able to scrounge up 20 liters of gas. 